Why is that? Well, there are a number of reasons. One is that markets tend to crash down, so they price in crash protection. There's a flow, there's supply and demand. People are generally buying puts, not selling them. Uh, and occasionally the market does go down, right? So this isn't insane. But what happens is markets tend to underrealize what is being priced to the downside here. What does that mean? When, I, when a market underrealizes, that means it's not really moving to the downside to reflect the price of those puts. And that's what's being priced in here as well. The reason this volatility risk premium is there to be taken advantage of is because much of the time markets are under realizing. Let's face it, markets go up over time. They tend to pull back once in a while. You know, you know even healthy markets do that. In fact, healthy markets do that more because it's important to kind of flush things out once in a while, flush out the, the, the animal spirits. But they'd usually come back and those puts, especially in, in severe sell-offs and crashes, those puts get jammed really high. Now you're really getting some, some value for selling uh, some of that high vol premium. So this is going to reflect the fact that downside is often um, priced much higher than it, it should be technically, right? It's that old Mark Twain quote that I always like to bring out, which is, you know, he said, I've worried about so many things in my life that never materialized. I'm probably completely wrecking the quote, but it has to do with, we worry a lot about things and yet markets tend to absorb worry and eventually come out of it uh, for the better.